It's Rio, who spent the weekend in police cells, were arraigned in court this morning, facing 11 counts of forgery and conspiracy to defraud the Central Bank of Kenya of 633 million shillings. This is money from fake treasury bills presented by Keter and his accomplices, allegedly presented to the CBK on Friday. The treasury bills, according to the charge sheet, were issued in 1990. The MP and the other two suspects have, however, denied all the charges. They are also accused of making a false document. Chief Magistrate Francis Ndai released the three on either two million shillings cash bill or five million shillings bond each, or they are required to be reporting to the Directorate of Criminal Investigations weekly. Keter, according to the judge, would be given back his phone confiscated during the arrest so he can request mobile network provider Safaricom to avail SMS exchanges between him and CBK Governor Dr. Patrick Njoroge. The prosecution has indicated that the same is an exhibit. However, the third accused person requires it in order to prepare for his defense. So we have to balance both interests here. I'll grant limited access to the third accused person to his phone in the presence of the investigating officer during the time that he'll be reporting to the DCI or the investigating officer as and when he requires. The three were arrested at the CBK premises where officers from the Banking Fraud Investigations Unit arrested them and took them to the DCI headquarters before booking them at the Modaiga police cells where they spent the weekend. Keter on Saturday got rare support from a section of his Jubilee colleagues who insist he could be a target of political machinations owing to his outspokenness.